guys can come up. Um, we have a few parents this morning, and we do this a couple times a year. And really, um, what we are doing is these parents are dedicating their kids. They are making a vow, really, to all of you, to themselves, to their children, to their families and friends, um, that they are going to raise their kiddos um, as part of a church to know God, to love Jesus. And so they're asking all of you guys to come alongside of them and hold them accountable and um, to just um, pray for them and encourage them as they go through parenting life together. So they're probably a little nervous because it's nerve-wracking to read in front of this many people, And um, but I'm excited for all of them and all of their precious little family. So let's see. You guys want to start, Campbell fam? All right, here we go. Good morning. Here we go. Reese. We love you so much, and we have not stopped thanking God for you. We promise to love you and guide you for the rest of your life. Standing up here, making this dedication, we promise to be examples of what it means to love God. Follow Jesus and live our lives that we have been called. We believe as your parents, it is our job to raise you in a Christian home, teach you about Jesus, show you how living a life for God is so fulfilling. In Proverbs 22, 6, it says, Start children off the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. We pray that as you grow up, you will find your value in Christ and will always find a place in a Christian community. We pray that by surrounding yourself in a Christian community, you will grow up to be loving, compassionate, empathetic, hardworking, and eager to serve others. We want you to learn to love church as we do. We, we hope you see how enjoyable it is to follow Jesus. We promise to tell you every day that Jesus loves you, mommy loves you, and daddy loves you. We want you to always know we are here for you and that if you keep Jesus as the cornerstone of your life, you have everything you need. Paul writes in a letter to the Ephesians, chapter 3, God's plan. Who believes the good news shares in the riches inherited by God's children. Enjoy the promise of blessings because you belong to Christ Jesus by God's grace and mighty power. We continue to pray that you will grow up knowing who God is, how much Jesus sacrificed for you, and that he is always with you. We can't promise you that life will be easy, but we know that if you follow Jesus, you will find comfort and peace through all seasons of life. Lastly, a wise person once said, our greatest contribution to the world might not be something we do, but someone we raise. Reese Marie Campbell, we love you. Thank you. All right, you guys want to move to the middle here? Today we are dedicating Arbor Rain Outman. As parents, our goal is to raise our children to know God, follow the example that Christ set for us, and be productive members of society. Arbor, we cannot say there is one verse in particular for you to live by, but we can say that when life is difficult, the answer will be found in scripture and prayer. When the inevitable struggles of life catch up to you and you feel you cannot turn to us, remember what an incredible support structure you have around you within this church. You are blessed with a large circle of people who love you and want to see you grow in your faith. From Christ's examples, we hope and pray that you grow to be grateful, content, genuine, loving, and humble. We love you, and we want to end with reading these two scriptures. 1 Samuel 1, 27 through 28. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted me what I asked of him. So now we give Arbor to the Lord for her whole life. She will be given to the Lord. In Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 7, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down, and when you get up. You guys want to come over this way? Oh, you sweet little thing. Look at you. Good morning. My name is Jenna. This is Alou, big sister Kinsey, and special guest Callie and Aiden. 
Callie, I love your grin, your chubby cheeks, your dark eyes, curly hair, chubby legs, and precious toes, and of course, your sweet, sweet personality. God made you wonderfully. Aiden, I love your smile, your handsome eyes, your soft curls, Perfect lips, cute toes, adorable ears, your stocky little body, and most of all, your fun, energetic personality. God made you wonderfully. We promise to raise you in the church. Come to this side. <laughs> yeah. We promise to raise you in the church. We promise to encourage your relationship with Jesus. We promise to do our best to be good Christian examples. We promise to remind you that God loves you always. We have, high, we have such high hopes and dreams for your futures. We trust that if you travel with God, all things are possible and what should happen will. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to, sp to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Please pray for our children to know Christ Jesus. Thank you. All right, we wrote a letter for Samuel today. Samuel, you are an amazing gift to us by our great God. We promise to always set the example of Jesus by teaching you his ways in everything we do and everything we say. We always know that you will be watching us and listening to all that we say. We'll teach you how to love by the way we treat others. <laughs> we'll teach you generosity by the way we give. We'll teach you how to worship God by our obedience to him. And we will teach you righteousness by the way we give. Our prayer is that you love the Lord your God with all of your heart and follow him always. <laughs> love, Mama and Dada. Dear Calvin, on July 10th of last year, you came into this world as a gift to us all. We held you and showered you with love. We watched you start to grow from a little baby that would lay and snuggle to the rambunctious one-year-old you are today. We have had so many amazing firsts over this year. Our first tooth, first steps, first words, first of many rolls of toilet paper thrown into the toilet for your amusement. <laughs> all of them memories that will build into the life story of Calvin. Our job as parents is not only to love and nurture, but to teach and guide also. To teach right from wrong, to show a better path to a fuller life. Even at one year old, we can begin to do these things. We are here today to start your path with God. We promise to show you the true joy you can experience through Jesus. We promise to show you how God is present in everything you will experience and to give praise for all he gives. There will be times of trouble or doubt or temptation. There may even be times that, completely, that seem completely hopeless. We, not only your immediate family, but all of your family, will be there to help keep you on the right path and encourage you to trust in God in your choices. You can show, we can show you through the best of times and the worst of times, God will be there for you. He will never fail to hear any of your prayers. You are his child. This church is also here to help you with your life, to guide and direct. As followers of Christ, we are all family, and family helps each other. Dedicated is defined as wholly committed to something. That is why we are here today, to wholly commit to ensure that you know Jesus Christ. We love you with all of our hearts, and we'll be there for you on your journey through life. Love Mom, Dad, Peyton, Lily, and Connor. William, since the moment we knew about you, we were excited to be your parents. Your mom and I love you. You are a true blessing from God, and we are so thankful that God has given us the opportunity to be your parents. We dedicate our hearts to teaching you to love others as God has loved us to serve the Lord wholeheartedly, to seek him passionately and authentically, and to help you discover your purpose on this earth. 
the most important thing your mom and I can teach you about is Jesus Christ, your need for salvation and eternal life. Your mom and I promise to do our best to model a life in Christ for you by the way we live, treat others, and how we relate to the world. Lord, we dedicate our son to you. We ask our family and friends to support us in teaching William the love of Jesus Christ. We love you so much, William. Love, Mom and Dad. Harrison, your mom and I have fallen in love with you over the past eight weeks and cannot um, cannot wait to go uh, continue to grow with you. You are number two for us, but there there is no doubt that it has already been and will continue to be a completely different experience than with your sister. And if there is any way you could cry a little less and sleep a little more, we would greatly appreciate it. Our prayer for you is that you can lead well, you love well, and show you Jesus. Making this commitment to you does not promise that we will not mess up, rather that we care enough about you to involve people in your life that love you and have the mutual goal of growing in a relationship with Jesus, who is the source of everything you will need and everything we as parents lack. Be humble. Put others before yourself, serve with a grateful heart, and be genuine with everyone that you meet. Build relationships that push you to be the best version of yourself, and do the same for them. Know that being humble is never a sign of weakness, but a sign that you are secure enough in yourself to admit you don't know everything. Be kind. Show people in your everyday actions. See the best in people, even when they struggle to be their best. Seek out, love, and understand those who are not like you, and know that your kindness is rooted in the one who made you and is the only one that can refill your kindness if you are ever to feel you have run out. Jesus, in closing, we want to thank you for your grace and your faithfulness. Be with Sarah and I as we continue on, our, on this journey that is one of the most important roles that we will play as parents to Olivia and Harrison. Lead us to show them how to love like you live, uh, like you love us. We pray for your wisdom and your guidance. Okay. Dear Lola, what a perfect addition you are to our family. Your contagious smile and laughter is such a joy to be around. Your dad and I feel so lucky that God chose us to be your parents, and it is a responsibility we do not take lightly. We know our main role as you grow is to teach you about God's love for you and Jesus' sacrifice for you and how your faith and trust in them should impact your love for others. We won't always get it right, and we pray that our friends and family point it out and help us when we don't. But ultimately, we know that a life centered around Jesus is the best life we can give you. We promise to do all that we can to model and teach this every day. We promise to raise you in the church so you can grow to love the church and the community it will have here, I'm sorry, and the community you will have here and serve the church so that you can use your gifts and talents God has given you to build up and encourage others in their walk with Jesus. We pray that in the years we are given to be the biggest influence on your life, that we help you to grow in wisdom, love others with selflessness and boldness, leave other, lead others well, and be an encourager. We ask our family, friends, and church family to come alongside us and help us in this endeavor and to remind us that our time is limited, so we need to make it count. We love you so much, sweet little girl. Yay. That's it. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> Dear Evangeline Noel, we are so thankful that God has blessed us with you as our third baby girl. You are such a joyful delight, and it's difficult to believe that you've only been with us for almost a whole year now. Your dad and I are always looking for ways to learn and grow as parents. We want to be the parents that God chose for you. This past spring, we were led to a movie called Like Arrows. It was all about parenting, based on Psalm 127, verses 3 through 5. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. 
like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. We learn that by strengthening you and your sisters as arrows, you will one day be released into this world as weapons for the Lord, bringing your light and love where this world so desperately needs it. Today we stand here before our friends and our family from here to Arizona to dedicate you to the Lord and to ask our church community for help in upholding these promises that we vow to you. We promise to help you find your identity as a beloved child of God made in his image. We promise to help you develop your character based on God's word. We promise to provide strong relationships within our family with God at the center to help you through this life. And these will provide you with joy, strength, comfort, grace, and other godlike qualities that you will need. We will do our best to show you the best example of what it is to love and to love others so that you are able to spread this around as well, as we all know that love is the greatest power in this world. We will demonstrate grace and mercy when it is needed. And finally, we promise to help you find your own path that God has created for you. We believe that he has you here with us for a purpose, and we will help guide you along that path. We love you, Evie, and we vow to make sure that you know how much you are loved by us and infinitely more by God throughout your precious life. Love, Mom and Dad. Hi, everybody. So this is Kinsley, and this is Keegan. Kinsley and Keegan. Kinsley, since you were born, your dad and I have felt blessed. You're the most beautiful, loving, and fun baby girl we could ever pray for. We knew from the first moment we laid eyes on you, God had blessed your dad and I. We have watched you grow into a very smart and beautiful young girl. Your father and I both know that this would have not been possible without God's support and unconditional love. Keegan, you just turned one. How time flies. We also knew when we found out we were pregnant for the second time that God had blessed our family again. There have been many sleepless nights, tantrums thrown, and constant need of food. But again, we knew we were you were also our most beautiful, loving, and blessing from God. As the two of you continue to grow and become adults, you will live your own life. You have times of happiness, times of disappointment. You will fall in love. You're going to read it for me? <laughs> life has its ups and downs, and it's not always fair. But we want you to remember two things. One, put God first and remember to always have faith in him. He will unconditionally love you and support you no matter what decisions you make, right or wrong. Two, Mom and dad will unconditionally love you and support you no matter your decisions that you make, right or wrong. Your dad and I will do more than just promise to love you. We promise to love each other, to fight for our marriage every step of the way, so that growing up you have a beautiful picture of how much God loves us and how much we're supposed to love each other. We will love you forever. We will love you always. As long as you're living, our babies you'll be. Love mommy and daddy. All right, McFarland crew, you guys want to step to the middle here? Oh, look at this sweet boy. Dear Matthew, first, I would like to tell you that you are much loved by not only your mother and I, but also your siblings. You've already shown an ability to bring joy and laughter to those around you. We have brought you in front of our church and family today for a very particular purpose. We would like to make you a promise. I would love to stand here and tell you that I promise to always be a perfect example of what a man should be, but I won't be. I would love to tell you that your mother will be an example of what a wife and mother should be, but she will almost always be. <laughs> what I can promise you is that we will do our best every day to point you to the one who is a perfect example for you. I can promise you that we will do our best to reflect the love that God has for you. Your mother and I realize that we will not be the only people who impact your life. Our influence on the person you become 
but we will try to use the influence and the time that we have to bring you closer to Christ. Solomon wrote a collection of wise sayings in the book of Proverbs, including these were the instructions. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. If there was only one thing that I could wish for you, it would be simply that you would learn to trust in the Lord and lean upon his word. Always remember that your mother and I love you and that God loves you and that neither of those two things will ever change. Love your parents. Dear Estelle, uh, your mother and I are so thrilled to have you in our lives. These first five and a half months have been so wonderful, and it's hard to even think of what our life was like before you came around. We have absolutely loved watching you as more and more of your personality develops and comes through every single day. Uh, you're so curious and are figuring something new out every day, and I pray that that continues and you never stop exploring, never stop discovering, uh, never stop learning about the world and the one who created it. Uh, we pray that you continue to grow up to be a compassionate and empathetic woman, that your love for people shines bright in this world that can be dark, and that you never let that darkness tell you that you are not enough, because in Christ's eyes, you are more than enough. My prayer for you since the very first day, for, since your very first day on this earth, is that you could have an uncommon relation, relationship with God, that you are able to walk with Jesus, fully trusting in his goodness, and that that walk is contagious to those around you. I want to finish this with the same prayer that St. Paul prayed for the church in Ephesus. I ask him to strengthen you by his spirit, not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength, that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite him in. And I ask him that with both feet planted firmly on love, you'll be able to take in with all followers of Jesus the extravagant dimensions of Christ's love. Reach out and experience the breadth, test its length, plumb the depths, rise to the heights, live full lives, full in the fullness of God. We love you, Estelle Louise Hagen, and we're so thankful that God has entrusted you to us. Love, Mom and Dad. All right, here's the bus family. Dear Madeline, this summer life turned upside down, and we took you from everything and everyone that you knew to bring you into our family. And as I look at you now, the happy girl who's learned to be a daughter and a sister and so many other things and brings happiness every day, your mom and I are in awe. We're so grateful that God chose us to be your parents and we thank him every day for trusting us to raise you, his precious child. We're the lucky ones to have been given such a wonderful gift. We can't wait to see the story that God's gonna write with your life. And we promise to raise you in a loving home and a community of Christ followers. We know that we still have a lot to learn and we won't always get it right. <laughs> but we'll hold on to each other tight and onto God even tighter as we grow together. Remember that we love you very much and your heavenly father loves you even more. Love, mom and dad. So just to close out, um, we just want to say thank you to all these parents here. Um, we talked about in our class that um, if you go to church regularly, most families um, come three every four weeks if they consider themselves a regular churchgoer. So that's about 40 hours a year that they have here at church to learn about God. And in contrast, at home with our kids, we get about 3,000 hours a year of influence aside from sleep and school and those things. So really we know that a parent has the greatest influence on their child's life. And so we just think it's such an awesome thing for these parents to come and say, we are going to use that time that we have with our kid Lola. Shh. That we're going to use that time that we have with our kids wisely. So I just want to say a prayer for all the families that are on the stage and for all of their families um, and friends that are out here in the audience um, that are here to kind of walk alongside of them. Dear God, just thank you so much for the parents that are on stage here today and for their children. Thank you for their commitment to raise their kids to know you and to love you. I just pray that um, you give us all patience and strength as we grow with our kids. I pray for our families and friends that are here with us today or watching online or at home, um, just that they would give us the encouragement when we need it. 
that they would um, walk alongside us as we do this parenting life when it's not easy. And just thank you for this community of support that we have here at church, um, people that are going to encourage us to model Jesus to our kids and to raise our kids to know and love you. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all these families. And in your name we pray. Amen.